we begin with Sonic telling us the story of Knuckles the Echidna. On Mushroom Planet, Knuckles had accidentally freed an evil Dr. Robotnik. Dr. Robotnik was looking for the magic emerald and had convinced Knuckles to help him in his quest. Unbeknownst to him, Knuckles had aided Dr. Robotnik in his evil plan, even picking a fight with Sonic. However, the two aliens had sorted out their differences, after which they teamed up to take down Bobotnik's giant robot. They eventually recovered the Master Emerald and saved the universe in the process. As a result, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles became inseparable and even started living together. In the present time, Knuckles is meditating on top of a cliff when he notices a group of men entering the Wachowski house. He sees this as an ambush and immediately rushes to get rid of the danger. He manages to take down the crew and enjoys a bag of chips to celebrate his victory. Hearing the chaos outside, Mrs. Wachowski decides to check and finds that Knuckles has taken down the construction crew who were at her house for renovations. She tries to stop the crew from leaving by telling them that her children act out of control at times. Despite the explanation, the crew leaves after threatening her to sue her. Once they leave, Mrs. Wachowski follows the trail of Chips Knuckles has left behind and confronts him about attacking the crew. When Sonic sees this, he tells Mrs. Wachowski to give Knuckles time to adjust to their planet. He then offers to talk to Knuckles. He joins Knuckles on the rooftop and tells him that he deserves to relax because he now has a home. Knuckles finally agrees to follow Sonic's advice and starts meditating. The next morning, everyone is in for a surprise when they find that Knuckles has created an iron throne in the living room out of Mrs. Wachowski's car and claims he's king of the household. Since she is late for work, she decides to call her brother Wade to give her a ride. However, Wade is at a qualifying match for a bowling tournament. She grounds Knuckles and sends him to the attic. Meanwhile, Wade gives himself a pep talk and prepares to throw the bowling ball when a young girl named Susie starts mocking him. He becomes distracted, but his team's leader, Jack Sinclair, tells him to focus. When Wade finally throws the ball and manages to knock down all of the pins except for one, disappointed by his loss, Jack tells Wade that he's off the team and takes Susie in his place. Back at home, Knuckles sits in the attic where Sonic tries to cheer him up. Once Sonic leaves, Knuckles turns to the Echidna elders and asks them to send him guidance. All of a sudden, Chief Pachacama appears behind him. The Chief tells Knuckles that he wants him to train someone in the Echidna ways. He then shows him a picture of Wade and claims that he needs Knuckles' guidance to become a true warrior. With this, Knuckles has a purpose in life again and agrees to train Wade. Sometime later, Knuckles sneaks into Wade's house and tells him that he is going to train him to become a warrior. Excited, Wade agrees, and the two of them go on a road trip to Montana to kickstart the training. On their way to the bowling alley, Wade tries to get to know Knuckles, but the only thing that he learns about the alien is that he is a proud warrior. Soon, the two of them reach a bowling alley where Wade shows Knuckles how to bowl. At the same time, in GUN headquarters, agents Willoughby and Mason pin Knuckles' location and contact an alien hunter. The alien hunter tells them that they will need special equipment to take Knuckles down and hands them special weapons that have a vial of Knuckles' power inside. While Wade and Knuckles are bowling, a portal appears in the middle of the alley. The two agents, packed with special weapons, ambush Knuckles. Their attacks cause everyone in the alley to rush out. The weapons don't deter Knuckles as he begins dodging their attacks and even takes Agent Mason down. Just when he thinks that he has won, Agent Willoughby uses a special gun to open a portal underneath him. As a result, he falls into a box and gets trapped. When he is left alone, Wade notices the discarded alien tech gloves and decides to use them to rescue Knuckles. Wade follows the two agents to an abandoned hotel where they wait for their buyer to arrive. During this, Knuckles finds that he is trapped inside a glass box that the agents have displayed in the hotel lobby while they wait. 
He tries to threaten the agents, but Willoughby tells him that she has been studying him for years. This means that she can take him down as she knows all of his strengths and weaknesses. In the meantime, Wade stands in the parking lot in his police cruiser and works out a plan. He begins to envision himself putting on a fancy suit to project confidence. He then buys a can of gasoline that he spills inside the hotel, causing Agent Mason to slip on it, giving Wade the chance to knock him out. He then decides to use a string to hang upside down from the roof while Agent Willoughby is busy talking to Knuckles. This will give Wade the chance to use an aerosol spray and a lighter to burn her. Wade is brought back to reality when the shop clerk asks him if he needs to buy anything else. Back in reality, Wade heads to the hotel and puts on the alien tech gloves. To his luck, he smashes his fists together, causing a burst of energy to knock both him and the gasoline tank in the air. As the gasoline spills all over the parking lot, it causes a fire that quickly reaches his car, igniting the fireworks inside. Hearing the chaos outside, the two agents decide to check it out. To their surprise, they see Wade ducked in front of his car as fireworks continue to go out. To make matters worse, the gloves begin to act strangely and turn into a mini rocket. It pushes Wade up in the air before he crashes somewhere inside the hotel. Agent Mason tells Willoughby to check up on Knuckles while he finds Wade. Inside the hotel, Wade loses one of the gloves, but instead of picking it up, he goes into hiding. When Mason walks inside, he picks up the glove and puts it on before attacking Wade. Wade tries to hide in the hotel, but Mason spots him and starts attacking him. He pins Wade to a wall just as his phone starts buzzing. Mason answers the call, claiming it is his mother calling him. While he is distracted talking to his mother, Wade uses this chance to squirt sriracha in his eyes. Mason's eyes start burning, and he lets go of Wade, who then punches him with his last remaining glove. Below them, Agent Willoughby mocks Knuckles by claiming that his rescue mission is a failure. Just then, Wade walks into the lobby and impulsively throws the glove at the box Knuckles is being kept in. When the smoke clears up, they discover that Knuckles is now free and Agent Willoughby is down. The two of them rush towards the wall that the glove's force has broken, but are shocked to find that they are several levels up. Despite this, Knuckles jumps off the building, taking Wade along with him. Not long after they land, Knuckles spots a truck and tells Wade to drive them away. However, Wade makes a stop on the way, claiming that he is hungry. They stop at a food truck, and Wade sees this as a chance to celebrate their victory. Although Knuckles does not see it as a victory, but mere luck, Wade manages to convince him that a victory is a victory, no matter what. Back at the hotel, Agent Mason accepts defeat and is prepared to go home when Willoughby reminds him that they deal with some of the most dangerous criminals. This means that they cannot just back out of a deal because the criminals will come after them. This is why the two of them start coming up with another plan to take Knuckles down. On the other hand, Knuckles and Wade enjoy their time together, and even bond. Knuckles asks Wade why he chooses to stay in Green Hill if there are no warriors around. He confesses that no place had felt like home until he arrived at Green Hills. Hearing this, Knuckles replies that he feels like that as well, claiming that he has traveled to galaxies but was never able to feel at home. As the last surviving Echidna, the only goal he has in life is to protect the Emerald until he is able to reunite with his people up in the sky. Once they are done eating, the two of them get on the road again. This time though, Knuckles lets go and even enjoys music that he had found terrible earlier. At that moment, the broadcast is interrupted and the host claims that Wade has become a wanted man after his cruiser was found at the hotel. Since Wade now has a bounty on his head, Knuckles tells him that they should find a safe place to rest while the manhunt calms down. With this, Wade drives to Reno, Nevada, and makes a surprise appearance at his mother's house that he hasn't visited in years. At the end of the episode, Wade knocks on his mother's door, and as soon as she sees him, she loses consciousness. To be continued. Thank you for watching. 
Check out these other videos and make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time.